called High River Sauces. We're from Long Island, New York. Um, we have our Hellacious Hot Sauce, which is a fire roasted habanero and a jalapeno. It's got lime, garlic, agave in it. This one's called Tears of the Sun. It's got four different fruits in it. This actually won the Hot Pepper Award for the best hot sauce of 2011. Hey, we have a uh, IPA agave mustard with a tomatillo radish slaw. And we are in a competition today, so if you like what you taste, mark your hash mark down on the poster. I mean, I just made a, a beautiful hummus with it, simple as could be. Just chickpeas in the, in the food processor with a jar of that and some three tablespoons of sour cream and you're done. Remember to vote for us today. Mr. Kensington's gourmet scooping ketchup. Hot dog? Dog. It's actually covered with um, onion sauce, which is this packet, and um, it's pretty tasty. Cheers. They roam all around the center, going wherever they please. Yeah, our other chickens that we have are like quite large. So we are grilling up some bison sausages. Cool. DNA info is online news for Manhattan. We cover every neighborhood in Manhattan and also the boroughs, covering the small stories that you won't hear about on the big stations. We are grilling up our sister company, High Plains Bison Sausages. So we grilled about a thousand today, and still going strong. It's a catering company in New York City. I also do some personal shopping. And generally, I like to promote a lot of healthy local vegetables. So we did a pecan celery slaw for the hot dogs. It should pair really well with the spiciness and sweetness of the sabret dogs. It's a little currants in there too. fat flavor to it, but it's leaner. It's very similar to pork. They're uh, raised up in Quebec. And we topped it with the roasted uh, roasted vegetable relish. There's a little cilantro in it, some roasted corn, tomatoes, onions, cilantro, some sambal, and a little sugar and some vinegar. The it's a barbuno kimchi steak taco. No fish sauce or shellfish sauce in it as well. And then uh, it's a
we're having a super spicy Kenchi eating contest at 3 o'clock, which is any moment now. We're going to be up on the stage and we're going to have 10 contestants eating as much super spicy Kenchi as they can in under 3 minutes. So last year's winner ate two and a half jars. We're going to see how this year turns out. The main ingredient is the ghost pepper, which is one of the spiciest peppers in the world. So we're going to see how everybody handles it and, you know, it's going to be a lot of laughs. That's how I see it. <laughs> Whoever wins, wins the trophy and all contestants receive a t-shirt. <laughs> Cookout 2012, great time. We look forward to next year. This is great. Next year, yeah. Six points. We'll be back next year also. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Anyone, anyone finish the jar yet? Anyone finish the jar yet? No, not quite yet. All right, let's see what's going on. G-Man winning, Big Mo, Sammy, Niall, Zach, the Mac. How's Lori doing? What? 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 Oh! And he's out! He's out! Hey, he tried, he tried. He came, he saw, he did not conquer. One minute left! One minute left! Come on! Go! 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 By the way, I used the ghost pepper, the bujalogia, the world's spiciest pepper. That's the hace calor. Very hot, very hot. 30 seconds left. Only a half a minute. Go! This is the final stretch. You can do it. It's only 20 seconds. Come on! 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Back away, back up. Back away from the kimchi. So two and a third. Two and a third for Graham the G-Man. A world champion of super spicy kimchi eating is the G-Man! Do you, have, do you have any words you'd like to tell your adoring public? My face is on fire right now. <laughs> um, it was a good time, great food, um, and I don't regret eating anything before this at all. It was a great time. I'll be back next year. The man, the myth, the legend.